This is what we use as a model to illustrate the mucus gel. We mix polyvinyl alcohol and borax, and this produces a gooey material which looks not unsimilar to the mucus on our body. When your body first produces it, it actually looks almost pristine. I think beautiful, almost magical. I have a good stretch, I have a good stretch. <laughs> mucus really is an unsung hero that has been taming problematic pathogens for millions of years. It really is the battleground location of our microbial interactions. My group here at MIT focuses on unraveling the mysteries of one of the most fascinating materials in biology, mucus. You have trillions of microbes growing on and inside of you, and the vast majority of these microbes live inside your mucus in your digestive tract. So it forms a habitat where beneficial microbes can thrive, gives them food, gives them a place to stay, but also at the same time prevents pathogens from causing serious infections. The strategy here is to look very closely at mucus and its components, figure out which ones have those desirable effects on the microbes, and then take them in their native form or build them synthetically and then put them to work inside and also outside of the body. If we understand how mucus domesticates microbes, I think it is not too far out to Think of ways of recruiting microbes that equip you with entirely new functions. For example, microbes live in what we consider uninhabitable places. If they can gather nutrients from those places, it might be possible for us to use these materials as a food source, ultimately. This might enable us to colonize new planets. If we want this field to grow, we need to prepare the upcoming generations. We need to educate them. What we developed was a character which represents mucus. He's our superhero and he can shift shapes. He has a hose, he can flush those microbes out and here you see him coming in from the lungs. Um, and it's floating around in the water. One challenge the field faces is that people commonly consider mucus as a waste product and its many biological functions are often overlooked. Once you become aware just how many different functions it fulfills in your body, it becomes clear that there's a whole lot of science to discover. Then it also becomes clear that with this really fascinating material, we probably will be able to solve some vexing problems. Can we take this?